going to Paris. And Lewis is with them. Take it away, Lewis. <laughs> All right. It is a scene down here when you know you've made the Olympic team. And the joy, of course, is uh, very evident. Grant, just uh, take us through the last couple of laps where you took the lead. And how bad did you want this title, this national championship, and, of course, an Olympic berth? Oh, totally, man. I mean, those last three laps, I was just pressing and leaning into it. Uh, I knew these guys had really good kicks, so I wanted to drag it out of them a little bit. And, man, to be back on Team USA, I've been here with Woody before. We had Nico for the first time, and, uh, man, it feels good. Nico, what was it like to battle out there, and now you're going to your first Olympics? Uh, I mean, it was amazing. Uh, yeah, I just, you know, I feel like this is where I kind of saw my season going, and uh, to execute it today is, like, surreal, so, yeah. And, Woody, now you'll be a two-time Olympian. What does the moment mean to you? I mean, I, I, every year has a different challenge, and I'm just, I work so hard to get here, and, this is the team I wanted. This is the best team right here, so thank you. All right, guys, I have a surprise for you. You're going to be the first ones to sign the Eiffel Tower over here. We're signifying you're going to Paris, so follow me over. we got some markers for you right here. You can get blue or red, your choice, and go right on over here and be the first ones to put your signature on the Eiffel Tower, signifying you're on the way to Paris to the Olympic Games. Here's your moment. Go for it. Hopefully they've got enough energy left, Lewis. Congrats. Well, that's day one. It's all about making Team USA presented by Xfinity and those three gentlemen have. And our coverage of Olympic track and field team trials continues tomorrow at 9, 8 central on NBC. For our entire crew here in Eugene, Oregon, this is Lee Diffie saying good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Weather Watch 12, weather from where you live. Live from Rhinelander, this is News Watch 12 at 10. The Northwoods Best News with Dan Hagen, meteorologist Chase Ropenag, and Saul Meyer with sports. News from where you live starts now. Good evening, I'm Dan Hagen. A Rhinelander woman was sentenced to prison today for her involvement in the 2022 death of Kyle Polinski. 25-year-old Jasmine LaRiviere was found guilty in April of several charges, including reckless homicide. LaRiviere, along with her co-defendant Malik Jones, were dealing drugs in 2022 when Polinsky purchased a substance from the two that was later found to be fentanyl. Polinsky was found to have died from fentanyl toxicity. During her sentencing, LaRiviere seemingly offered remorse to the family, saying that she had not intended to kill Polinsky. I want to give my deepest and most sincere apology to you all and let you know how truly sorry I am for my involvement in this matter. I want you to know that I never intended to cause harm to anybody. Evidence did show that La Riviere did knowingly continue to deal drugs after she learned that Polinsky had died. Also during sentencing, Vilas County Judge Daniel Overby said that a pre-sentence investigation found that La Riviere made no effort before today to show remorse for her actions. He reported how she, quote, came to peace, unquote, with his death, with Mr. Polinsky's death. And she never addressed with the PSI writer any attempt to try to offer peace to the victim's family. Ultimately, La Riviere was sentenced to a total of 15 years in prison for her role in Polinsky's death. She will also pay over $10,000 in restitution that is set to come out of La Riviere's posted bond. Well, Chase, a couple showers today, some more tomorrow, right? Yep, definitely. Definitely in the early morning hours for us. That's when we're going to possibly see showers for us near Rhinelander. And then throughout the day, there are a chance for some severe storms down south still, too. So right now, we're in the clear, but we do still see those thunderstorms down by uh, just south of Adams County. They have moved out of their area a little bit. But we still got this system right here, the one in uh, eastern Minnesota, making its way. That's what's going to impact us in those early morning hours. So let's take a look. Looks like around 3 a.m. is when we could have some thunder storms right near Rhinelander and Wausau, bringing some gusty winds, possibly and most likely just heavy rain as well. And then the severe threat down here is still uh, still going on for those early morning hours near our southern counties where we could have some isolated cells here and then a line of storms will be developing, bringing straight line winds, uh, locally heavy rainfall and even the possibility of an embedded tornado or two as well. So that's going to be something we need to keep, uh, keep an eye on going into the early morning hours tomorrow. Taking a look ahead into tonight, looks like temperatures are going to be in the low 
lows, 60s throughout most of the night. Could possibly get into those upper 50s as well with a low, uh, forecast low of around 58 degrees. Dan? Thanks, Chase. Three people are dead and 11 others are injured in a shooting at an Arkansas grocery store. It happened at around noon today. Arkansas State Police say that two law enforcement officers were injured in the shooting as well. The suspected shooter was injured and taken into custody. There's an update to the crash involving a motorcycle and a car in Lincoln County on Tuesday. Three people were injured in the crash, and as a result, one of them just died at the UW-Madison Hospital. The driver of the motorcycle that died was identified as 55-year-old Robert Dungan of McAllister, Oklahoma. His wife was the passenger, and she is still alive. A van had turned in front of the motorcycle when they collided. The 88-year-old driver of the van said she thought she had enough time to turn. Chambers of Commerce promote the local area by putting on events and working with businesses. The Conover Chamber has filled their long vacant executive director position. The position has been vacant since 2022. Irene Spitz is a lifelong resident of Conover and recently took over the position. She plans to keep annual traditions going as well as expand the growth of the Conover community. The town of Conover has so much potential and having an individual in the role that has that same passion that many of our volunteers and other residents have gives the opportunity for overall growth and uh, great relationships to be built and maintained. And that's something that our small town can really look forward to. Spitz is excited to take on the responsibility and grow the Conover community for its residents and encourage non-residents to take part in communities events. Building on the events that we currently have in place, um, solidifying some new events for the future, and working on um, building the relationships with the businesses, the residents, and the visitors to our community, our clubs and organizations, to be able to continue to expand what we currently offer. To meet Arian or to volunteer, you can visit the Conover Chamber of Commerce during their hours of operation. The nonprofit art star in Rhinelander is showcasing its summer exhibitions on Stephen Street, bringing community members in to enjoy artwork. On display through August is Minnesota artist Rachel Breen's textile politics, A Call to Action. Her work aims to make people think about their consumption habits. Every piece that she has in the gallery is actually educating you on the process of making clothing. The gallery is open for viewing from 11 to 4 from Thursday to Saturday. The Crandon Brush Run is coming up and with it brings tens of thousands of people to the area. Coming up, we will preview that event after weather with Chase right here on Newswatch 12. In the courtroom, we see Donald Trump for who he is. He's been convicted of 34 felonies, found liable for sexual assault, and he committed financial fraud. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's been working, lowering health care costs and making big corporations pay their fair share. This election is between a convicted criminal who's only out for himself and a president who's fighting for your family. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. The future of home automation is here. At Electronics and Security of Wisconsin, we sell, install, and service the latest in home automation technology. With a smart home, you can control and protect your entire home with just a touch of a button. Wanted. Listings. It is still a seller's market. If properly priced, you may get multiple offers. Call Bob Coleman with 33 years of expertise selling in the Northwoods. He is an agent you can trust. Earning your business is the goal. Update your home's exterior with help from Menards. Shop the largest selection of garage doors in stock or design your own using our garage door design program. This 9x7 garage door is $449.99 after rebate. Build outdoor projects that last with our huge in-stock selection of quality AC2 pressure-treated lumber and decking. All easy to load in our drive through lumber yard. Get an 11% rebate on pressure-treated lumber and decking. Save big money at Menards. 
There is no place I'd rather be on the 4th of July holiday week than on a boat. Need a boat or need to upgrade for more space? Get to American Marine in Shawano and pick from 900 boats and pontoons in stock. Then, increase your power with a Mercury motor, and you still have time to make the best memories ever. Buy a boat or Mercury motor from us and have it in the water the next day. This 4th of July, make sure you're on the water with American Marine. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. And your Ford dealer is the place to start with a full lineup of vehicles and available powertrains. Get your ideal combination of power and capability with gas, hybrid, or all electric. The more important than the power you choose is what you choose to do with it. Choose FlexBuy on a new Ford Edge and get 0% APR financing for 66 months plus 1,000 FlexBuy cash only at your local Wisconsin Ford dealer. Welcome back, everybody. Had a pretty active weather day today, and that is just the start of this little two-day event we got going on with a thunderstorm outlook going into tomorrow as well. Looks like those storms are starting to diminish a little bit, losing some energy here in the southern part of the state. But we do have another system making its way, and that's what's going to impact us in those early morning hours going into tomorrow. So let's take a look. But first, we have to talk about the severe risk for tomorrow. This is going to extend from the southern portion of the state up all the way near Wausau, extending a little bit to the northeast as well. And then all of us up here in the Northwoods near Rhinelander are going to be uh, in the marginal risk as well. So as we do have some thunderstorm development looking into those early morning hours with that system on the way. So it looks like around 3 a.m. this is where we'll have you know, possibly some gusty winds and lots of rainfall between Rhinelander and Wausau. And then we do have another severe threat chance around 4 a.m. for our southern, uh, southern counties. Looks like some isolated storms could be developing and then we'll have that line of storms that could uh, you know, scrape around Adams County going into those early morning hours tomorrow bringing straight line damaging winds uh, and lots of rainfall as well where this area is supposed to uh, get a good swath of around three inches of rain and then going into the evening hours this is where that cold front it is expected to push a little bit more south now but there's still a chance of those isolated cells to develop bringing a possible isolated tornado chance um, hail chances as well and gusty winds still too so that's something to still keep an eye on even though things are looking a little better for us going into Sunday when things start to clear up so with that being said looking at those rainfall fall totals right now we can see we do have a good amount of rain to come just north or southeast of Rylander going from Antico the Lakewood into Wasaki as well so just around uh, two inches two to inches to a quarter near Wasaki so lots of rainfall in this portion and then after those overnight hours going on the Saturday that's when we could see around three inches of rain still making their way through this southern part of the state so lots of rain is on the way for tomorrow but take a look at temperatures right now things are cooling off we're in the low 60s we can see 60 61 in Rylander, and that extends to down to the southern part of the state as well, where they're in some mid-60s, so still just slightly warmer. We do have some upper 50s as well in the region, so things are definitely cooling down. Dew points, though, are not. They're still uh, rising just slightly. We're at 58 in Rylander. We do see 60s around us as well, so getting pretty muggy there, and we do have mid-60s down south, so still just a little bit more muggy for those thunderstorms on the way coming in, providing moisture for them. Uh, looking to the morning hours, things will be pretty, you know, mild, and the morning will be have some upper 50s most likely at uh, 60 as well for much of our area so a slightly mild to warm morning to start us off with those thunderstorms in the area in those uh, early morning hours as well take a look at the temperature trend things are warming up though looks like Sunday and Monday will be in the low or the mid to upper 70s and then Tuesday will be back to those summer like temperatures with 84 degrees as the high on Tuesday and then things will cool off Wednesday Thursday and Friday and humidity with those temperatures will rise as well once we get into Tuesday Monday and Tuesday Tuesday. Uh, so things will get a little sticky out there again and make those and the humidity will make those temperatures feel a lot hotter than they really are. So always important to stay hydrated and have water with you at all times. Take a look at wind speeds right now. Things are uh, just about as they were earlier, just around five to 10 miles per hour in much of the area. An east wind of seven miles per hour in Rylander right now. So things aren't looking too bad. But going into tonight, we do have those thunderstorms likely in the early morning hours and there is severe weather possible, especially with those southern counties uh, having some big storms coming in 
other than that, low will be at around 58 degrees, 58 degrees tonight. And then going into tomorrow, there are those thunderstorms in the early morning hours still. Severe weather possible throughout the day, especially in those southern counties. Other than that, for us here in Rhinelander, high of 68 degrees with winds from the northeast. Take a look at your seven-day forecast. Looks like showers will uh, linger into Sunday after these storms make their way through. And then we'll have some much more warmer temperatures Monday into Tuesday with a high of 84 on Tuesday. And then things will cool down back into the low 70s throughout the rest of the week. Dan? Thanks, Chase. The downtown area of a northern Minnesota town is flooding from a rising creek in downtown Cook, Minnesota. Floodwaters measure several feet, and it's only going to get worse, according to forecasters. They're predicting the swollen Little Fork River will continue to rise, sending more water into Cook, raising the water by another foot. Chalk Fest in Wausau is being delayed by a day. It will begin on Sunday, June 23rd at 7 a.m. due to inclement weather forecasted tomorrow. Weather reports indicate that there will be a possibility of severe thunderstorms and significant rainfall on Saturday. There will be extended hours on Sunday into the evening for judging. Chalk Fest began back in 2004 and has grown to attracting hundreds of artists each year. Home prices hit a record high in the month of May, which has slowed sales. The median price of an existing home sold in May was $420,000. Home sales are sitting at a 30-year low. The inventory of homes for May jumped in May. Oneida County had 168 homes listed in May. That's up from 144 a year earlier. Vilas County had 169 homes listed in May. That's up from 156 a year ago. Today's the day race fans have been looking for. The kickoff to Crandon International Raceway's 31st anniversary Forest County Potawatomi Brush Run. All the world's best off-road racers are getting ready to put on a great show this weekend for fans young and old. Shauna Johnson has the story. Today's the day race fans have been waiting for. The kickoff to Crandon International Raceway's 31st anniversary Forest County Potawatomi Brush Run. All of the world's best off-road racers are getting ready to put on a great show this weekend for fans young and old. Crandon is a community event. This is it. This weekend's all about the 31st year of the Forest County Potawatomi and, and we're ready. And uh, I hope that everyone that's in the area wants to come see some, some great action comes to visit us. So pack up an umbrella and some muck boots because it might get a little soggy. Jason Flannery said there's not much here the crews can't handle and failure just isn't an option. With 350 drivers here from all over the country and the smell of race gas in the air, there's no holding them back. We've gone through this a lot with with this weather and this weekend and these, this cran and track crew really does a good job. I mean, they're not going to put us out there in unsafe conditions, so... Uh, I'm not really worried about it, but um, I, I'm sure uh, anything they can do to make the track better for us and more enjoyable, enjoyable for the fans, uh, they'll, they'll make it happen. Rain or shine, racers love the Crandon track. We're excited to get out. You know, weather, obviously, spring Crandon, you never know. So uh, we're excited to be here, family, friends. Uh, hopefully the, the weather cooperates and we can have a great weekend. Crandon even has a few first-timers anticipating their first run on the championship track, including the legendary Kyla Duke's daughter, Addy, determined to follow in his footsteps. My dad raced pro fours and he was very good at it. It was um, the best. Yes. Drive it and floor it, right? Yep. And use the brakes? Mm-hmm. Okay. And start it by yourself? Yep. Okay. So hopefully if it stops raining, we'll get some practice in, right? Because you've never raced on this track yet. No. You're a rookie. Rookie Addy. Ready? Yep. <laughs> All these racers blazing the track for their chance at taking a podium win and this year a record setting prize. So, this will be the largest purse the Crans ever put up for the Brush Run weekend, whether it's sportsman racing, pro classes, and it all culminates on Sunday afternoon with the Chairman's Cup race. This time tomorrow, the property will be lined with spectators from across the country to take part in the Crandon Spring Run tradition that's had several generations of families coming back for more. Marty said that's what it's all about at Crandon and the stories that have been told over the years that make 
makes it unlike any other track. This place is the field of dreams for off-road racing. It really is. It, it popped up that way, and we treat it that way. And like I said, our racers come here, and, and they it's fine to win races, and it's fine to win championships, but it's a whole other thing to win at Crandon. If you'd like to attend this weekend's races, bring family, friends, and lawn chairs. Sit back and enjoy an unforgettable experience brought to you by Crandon International Raceway and several sponsors throughout the community. Tickets can be purchased right at the gate. All information can be found at CrandonOffRoad.com. Reporting from Crandon, Shauna Johnson, Newswatch 12. Thank you, Shauna. There were multiple athletes from our area competing for a spot on Team USA in the Summer Olympics. Coming up on Newswatch 12, Saul Meyer will be here to tell us how they did and the next steps for being called an Olympian. You've got this. You didn't think your sister would take you up on the dog sitting offer, but here you are. Barriers purchased. Doggy distractions, no expense spared. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with $50 overdraft gray zone. So when you have to make a purchase or seven to prepare, you can be sure we're looking out for you. So you can look out for him. You've got this with Associated Bank. In today's economy, it seems the value of a dollar continues to shrink, while the services offered are getting less and less. Here at Maher Water Corporation, a new high-efficiency system made by WaterCare can help ease the stress on your checkbook. We are always available to analyze and recommend one of these units. So while we can't actually make your money grow, we can make the value of what you get from Maher seem like it. I've been with U.S. Cellular for 27 years. They've always taken care of me. But when they asked me to talk to you about their special customer event, Us Days, I said, I gotta get in shape. So they sent me this Hollywood trainer. Oh, this guy's no joke. Hmm. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers. Oh. Now let's try burpees. Us Days is back at U.S. Cellular. Current customers get $1,200 off any phone, plus $300 off any tablet. Every week it costs more to feed my family. Prices are just out of control. Boy, inflation is really hurting us. It's got to stop. Career politicians like Biden and Baldwin just don't get it. They're making things harder for folks here in Wisconsin. By stopping the crazy spending that caused inflation and cutting red tape, we can bring prices down. It's time for a change. I'm Eric Covdy. I approve this message. I'll get the job done for Wisconsin families. Coming up on News Watch 12 today, join us for another edition of Race Watch 12 with Kate Eideman. And finally, much better weather. We'll be back in the forecast next week. Tune in to find out what we're talking about. There are multiple athletes from our area competing for a spot on the 2024 Summer Olympic team. We already saw Rhinelander's own Malia Francis at the trials in the pool. And now there's another Oneida County athlete trying to make it to Paris. Three Lakes' is Emily Fink. Fink competed in the first day of the women's hammer throw qualifiers, where she advanced to the finals after finishing in 10th place with a personal best throw of 66 and a quarter meters. The final day of the qualifiers will be Sunday at around 7 p.m. And another local athlete competed for a shot at the Olympics today, Stevens Point's own Roisin Willis. Willis competed in the 800-meter run at the Olympic trials in Eugene, Oregon, the event where she set the high school national record at the WIAA state track and field meet as a member of the Spash Panthers. In this event, she qualified for the semifinals after finishing in 19th place with a final time of 2 minutes and 2 seconds. The semifinals of the women's 800-meter run will be this Sunday at around 8 p.m. And let's take a look at, let's talk about a Wisconsin athlete who's already qualified for the Olympics. 
Oshkosh's own Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton is going to Paris to represent Team USA as a basketball player. He is currently in the NBA as a member of the Indiana Pacers, where he's a two-time All-Star and was selected to the All-NBA third team this past season. He was a part of the Indiana Pacers team that not only defeated the Milwaukee Bucks in the opening round of the NBA playoffs, and he was also on the team that made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, where they lost to the eventual NBA champions, the Boston Celtics. You can watch the trials as well as the Olympic Games all summer long right here on NBC. Milwaukee Brewers are in action in their second game out of their three-game road series in San Diego, taking on the Padres before heading back home next week. It was another West Coast start time for the crew, so this game's still going on. Currently, it's the Brewers leading this game 3-1 to one in the fifth inning. The Brewers are looking to bounce back from last night's loss to the Padres, a game they lost via a walk-off home run. And it's also game six of the Stanley Cup final. The Florida Panthers were looking to end this series after going up three games to two or three games to zero and then dropping the next two games to make it three games to two while Edmonton was looking to force a game seven with a win. And that is exactly what they did with the Oilers winning this game five to one to force a winner take all game seven in Florida. We'll be right back after the break. Northwoods Windows has been helping homeowners all over central and northern Wisconsin with replacement windows, patio entry doors, and more. We've done installations in over 10,000 homes, including cottages, churches, and businesses. Our installers are trained, experienced professionals, and we're an authorized dealer of home improvement products from some of the top manufacturers. We offer free in-home consultations, no-pressure sales, honest pricing, and a job well done. Contact Northwood Windows today and see why you should choose us. Quality Homes of Tomahawk now sells modular homes built by Wisconsin Homes. Wisconsin Homes has maintained a tradition of building some of the finest homes on the market. Quality Homes also has a large selection of new manufactured and mobile homes. New homes are available for immediate delivery and set up anywhere in Wisconsin. Whether buying your first home or a cabin getaway, Quality Homes has the experience and expertise to make your dreams reality. Visit them today at qualitymh.com. Every day we battle illegal drugs coming into our community. And we know the attacks on Tammy Baldwin are not true. Tammy's working with law enforcement to stop the flow of fentanyl. She brought Democrats and Republicans together to crack down on drugs coming from China and Mexico. Giving us more tools to fight drug smugglers. And Tammy voted 32 times to strengthen the border. Don't believe the attacks. It's Tammy Baldwin I trust to keep Wisconsin safe. I'm Tammy Baldwin and I approve this message. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or get $3,500 purchase cash on select GMC Sierra models. Or get a total of $6,000 purchase allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Visit your North Central Wisconsin GMC dealer. Price crash. Price crash. Don't miss the huge going out of business sale going on now at Lakeland Furniture and Mattress in Manaqua. Shop now and save an additional 23% off the already low sale prices store wide. Quality name brands, Amish and handcrafted furniture, mattresses, bedroom sets, dining room sets, living room sets, reclining furniture, and much, much more. Hurry in today for the best selection at the going out of business sale at Lakeland Furniture and Mattress in Manaqua. A Hayward man was arrested after one of his passengers died and two passengers were seriously hurt in a rollover crash early this morning. <clears throat> According to the Sawyer County Sheriff's Office, the crash happened at around 3.15 a.m. A 20-year-old Hayward man lost control while driving on a road south of the city and the car rolled multiple times into the ditch. The passengers in his vehicle were thrown from it. One teenager died and two teenagers were taken to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The driver had minor injuries and is expected to be charged with second degree recklessly endangering safety. Speed and alcohol are believed to be factors in the crash. 
A local group fighting hunger is teaming up with an Eagle River Children's Museum. Fork or Feed Our Rural Kids is putting its 10th new pantry location at the Northwoods Children's Museum. Other pantry locations are at schools, so Jean Arndt of Fork said that means during the summer kids can lose some accessibility to them. So Fork thought the local children's museum would be a great location while school is out. Their hours are Monday through Friday, 10 to 5, and Saturdays, 10 to 3. Madison community members watched as an apartment building moved on West Dayton Street Thursday morning. According to the apartment's owner, the building is 22 years old and cost over half a million dollars to move. The building is set to go on Mifflin Street and a new apartment complex will be built in its place. Some pulled out lawn chairs to watch as the big building began to move. We're actually here videotaping it for our grandsons because we've, we promised them. The building is 400 tons, which is equivalent to 11 fully filled cement mixers. No one currently lives in the building. And now it's time for this week's edition of Big Old Fish. Newswatch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Monarchy. Hey, I got a question for you guys. What kind of fish gets the most fan mail? Why, a starfish, of course. <sighs> All right, well, we're going to start off this week's big old fish with Cliff Kramer. He says back in the spring, the crappies were biting on minnows, and he caught this whole slew of 14-inchers. Well, I think you know what I'm going to say, Cliff. 14-inch crappies? Yeah, those are some big old fish. Way to go. Keep on reeling them in. Next up on this week's big old fish, we have Anthony Gabriel. Now, it says he was using some soft plastics on Lake Onteonta when he caught this beautiful 20-inch largemouth. Well, there ain't no other way to look at it, Anthony. 20 inches, largemouth. That is, in fact, one big old fish. Way to go. Keep on reeling them in. Finally, on this week's big old fish, we have Trevor, who says he was fishing with his grandpa Scott when he caught this gorgeous nine inch bluegill on the Cisco chain using a worm. Well, there ain't no other way to look at it, Trevor. Nine inches bluegill. Yeah, you know what I'm going to say. That is one big old fish. Way to go. Keep on reeling them in. All right, fishermen and women, make sure to keep those trophy pictures coming. All the information you need to be in a future episode of Big Old Fish and win a Northern Taxidermy Fish Mill is on our website, WJFW.com. And remember, anglers, fish on. Fireworks Country has everything you need to create a 4th of July tradition under a fireworks-filled sky. Celebrate Independence Day and party with a bang. Fireworks Country, located at the Big Blue Barn, one mile west of Wittenberg on Highway 29. June Dairy Month is a special time to discover, taste, and celebrate the legacy of Wisconsin dairy. Dairy farming is key to Wisconsin's economy and communities. Because 95% of Wisconsin farms are family owned, our dairy farms are committed to incorporating science and sound practices to ensure they produce the best quality milk while protecting the planet. Visit WisconsinDairy.org to find a local dairy breakfast and raise a glass to the goodness of Wisconsin dairy. I'm a mom of two healthy children, and I'm also an OBGYN who had to end a wanted pregnancy because my baby was very sick. I got the call from my doctor, and he said my baby wouldn't survive. So my husband and I made the decision to have an abortion. <sighs> That's not a decision for any politician, including Donald Trump. Women need access and should have access to all of their options. Donald Trump wants to criminalize women for making a health care decision, even if it saves a woman's life. That is horrifying. If Trump was reelected, it would be devastating for women's health care. Maybe PAC is responsible for the content of this ad. Once the scar tissue has formed, it decreases mobility to the joint and you lose blood supply. This causes chronic pain. It's not invasive and 
you don't even feel it really. Then I'm able to work out really good now without any pain at all. Lasers can eradicate scar tissue, freeing the joint and giving you back your life. Fireworks Country has everything you need to create a 4th of July tradition under a fireworks-filled sky. Celebrate Independence Day and party with a bang. Fireworks Country, located at the Big Blue Barn, one mile west of Wittenberg on Highway 29. Builder Service, we are your hometown hardware store. Plumbing, electrical, paint, automotive, keys, tools, lawn and garden. We're more than just a lumber yard. Highway 45 in Elko. All right, some big storms tomorrow, and those will linger into Sunday. And then on Tuesday, we got some warmer temperatures in the mid 80s. Yeah. All right, well, that seems good enough for me, I guess. <laughs> We're out of time. We'll see you next week. <laughs> forgot. Hard water damage makes it hard to keep your home looking picture perfect. Culligan softeners reduce buildup and cleaning time, transforming your water into the fine art of a long lasting clean. Culligan, water you love. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, they are correct. Enjoy one of our tasty steak patty sandwiches paired with a $2 medium iced coffee. Bottom up.